So I think we've got some great things coming up for this week's uh, set, uh, program. You know, we're going to be talking about some of the things we explained last week. Uh, Judy's going to be showing you book nooks where students read a book this summer and actually create something that can be shared statewide this fall. Uh, uh, Tanya, I know you're looking at, at resources as well as, you know, how do you evaluate your students? And uh, we also we're going to show you how you can get free PD online anytime from NWOAT by watching our videos. You take a short quiz and a PD certificate comes to you by email. So these are some exciting things for this week. Okay, well, Roger, why don't you um, start talking about the, uh, or who wants to start, I guess, talking about um, maybe the PD document that we have that can be made available to all districts. Um, do we want to have Judy talk about the book nook? What do we want to start with? Okay, I'm going to try and share my screen on this PD document since we have that ready to go. So, and the link to this document will be in the resources for this video and also in our NWET newsletter uh, that goes out to many, many teachers. If you'd like your email added to the list of who gets our electronic newsletter, uh, just uh, shoot us a, an email at nwet at nwet.org. Say, hey, add me to your email list. But here's the, on your screen, you should be able to see the tech tools for educators. Um, these are online videos. They range from 15 minutes to a couple hours in length. Many of them are around that 30 to 60 minute length. And on many different topics for uh, Screencastify, um, Edulastic, Discovery, uh, Infohio resources, uh, Google Sites, Chromebook Basics, Google Classroom, just dozens and dozens of different topics where NWT has created a video. You watch the video, you take a short quiz, and the PD certificate comes to you automatically by email, and you're all set to go. And most LPDCs are, you know, eagerly accept or very willingly accept these PD certificates from NWET. So again, Tech Tools for Educators, online PD, free for all NWET members of all levels. And uh, the link to this will be on the resources for this video. So now the one that's thing what I have. The one thing that everybody needs to know about the uh, these resources. So um, a lot of these have been updated. So like if they are one hour, 0.5, like those top ones that Roger just had up there with the Ed Puzzle and Discovery Education. Um, those are smaller classes. Thanks, Roger. Um, as in like, you're just watching one video and then in the description or actually even on that, it says click here. You can go see okay, the video. Let me do a click here and show you what happens. Yep, there's the video. Hello everyone. Um, I'm going to get started with Demystify Screencastify. Okay, and then um, can you dismiss that pop up there that yeah. has down below? Down below. To go away, please. All the way to the bottom. Yeah, okay. and underneath that, you'll see a link to the um, where it says "Show More." It will take you to an assessment um, that you'll be able to. Um, complete and then get a certificate like Roger said right away but then there are so watch the video scroll down click on show more and there you should see the link to the certificate the, yes. the quiz that will get you the PD certificate right and I'm trying to see if we yeah um so there's there are some that are worth two and three hours, those are playlists that have multiple videos, like four or five or six videos. So keep that in mind. There are a lot, but like I said, a lot of them are just 0.5 or um, you know, smaller sized videos to be able to do that. So you can get some PD hours in, gain a certificate um, just by watching some quick videos. So Judy, you wanna talk about your resources that'll help teachers out? Right, besides our NWOET uh, resources, um, I'm gonna take you into Info Ohio and show you all the free PD that uh, is available. So we'll 
share my and while she's doing that I'll, okay there we go never mind you've got it up judy what i was going to mention is this is a great summertime assignment in my idea uh suggest to the students some of these resources uh, that judy's going to uh, show you here and then work with whatever teacher these students are going to have in the fall you give the assignment now hey go read this book and when you come back in the fall your teacher in the fall may allow you to get bonus points or we'll have an assignment or whatever the case might be. But well, what do the students actually do? Judy's about to show you that. Yeah, and I'm gonna interrupt too a little bit here. It was a little harsh in us saying that you're gonna evaluate your students and collect data. And I mean, that all sounds very statey, kind of like statewide testing and that kind of stuff. <laughs> of course, you already have spent a year with your students and you know, that where the students are based on the value you've added over the years or over the, the days with them. So you already kind of have collected the data yourself. You could, um, you know, find some online tools that will help evaluate the students. Um, like for instance, a study island type thing. I'm not saying by study island, um, but there are like um, League of Legends and um, craft, uh, master crafts. There's a whole bunch of resources and those will be on our resource page that you can just put the students in and the students do a little thing at the beginning. And after they complete that thing, then they know that they're, they're at this reading level or they should start at level three instead of level two. And, um, and then you can use the resources like Judy's about to show you to pick out the Lexile level for that individual student or the, the reading series that you need for that student. So you can either evaluate your students based on you've spent the entire year with them, or you can find a resource that will, um, one of the online tests that you've given them, one of the statewide tests, look at that and be like, oh, it says that they're, you know, low in, you know, they scored low in fractions or, you know, whatever thing it is, and then you can go find that resource for the students. And so I'm just going to follow up on that. I mean, and if you've never done anything like this before, start small. We're not trying to, you know, give a full summer school in one assignment, but exactly what you said, Tanya, you know, take a look at the, your students and individually, where does this one really need the most help? Where can they benefit from a little bit of extra time spent this summer? Is it on math? Is it on reading? You know, uh, and then I can direct them to some resources and I would highly recommend, highly recommend you do this in a paper note you send home. Um, you maybe have all of the different resources listed on one side of one sheet of paper and then you check the ones and don't check everything. You check the one or two or three resources that you would encourage, you know, Johnny to work on this summer. And, you know, uh, parents go to infohio.org and click on world book and look at the reading list or pick click on book flicks and select a book from that you know just you know a sentence of instruction to the parents you know and again it can be on a single sheet of paper you know uh, a half dozen or even a dozen different resources where you click the one or two or three that you most recommend for that student to work on over the summer will everybody do it no but some of them might. And this avoiding that summer slump, keeping the kids engaged with learning and targeting their learning activities, helping those many parents who do want their kids to continue to learn over summer, help use your professional guidance to get the kids spending some playtime and wasted time and turn it into learning time. All right, Judy, over to you. Okay, um, I'm going to show the... Um... Uh, book flicks. Uh, now, is that, are you seeing my screen with book nook? Yes. Okay. okay. Um, just, uh, just to see what these book trailers can look like. This is from Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. And it always gives the Lexile reading level uh, of the particular book. And then there's a little video. And uh, of course, Sam I can make and it Frodo are on a mission. The fellowship is in trouble. And this one is will they way. succeed? Question mark. Or will they? Now, this particular book note just includes video or uh, still pictures that are in like a slideshow with the student reading it. Obviously, it's for um, 
junior high or high school, uh, this particular one, but you can go in and you can search for different uh, book trailers. Of course, the uh, as I mentioned last week, the materials for teachers and students guides the students on what they need to do, but you could have the students look through a different variety, maybe give them the titles of some to look through so they can see all the different formats that they can uh, submit a book, uh, a book nook um, submission. Um, and besides that on Info Ohio, what we were talking in the beginning about uh, videos and professional development that educators can use to gain licensure um, by collecting uh, certificate contact hours. On that opening page on educators, uh, you go in and there's all kinds of things. The things I would point uh, educators to is the Info Ohio campus. And that's where there's a variety. You can see here these first three in the first column, earn contact hours, learn with Info Ohio. If you're going to use any of these online tools from Info Ohio, I strongly suggest that even if you're not uh, 1A certificates, that you use these as tools. We'll just go through. Um, I know I featured this and, and one. Judy, I'm going to interrupt you here for just a second. Even though it's going to be summertime, if you'd like some help, if you'd like a, you know, uh, to connect with you, Judy, by video for you know 10 minutes or an hour to go over some of these, that's an option that's there. Exactly. I mean, I'm willing to meet with you on Zoom or Google Meet or whatever format you might want to, do, or just a phone call. But I mean, here are two that were recorded back in March. So they're very new about World Book Timelines, which is an awesome resource. A lot of people have never even discovered is on Info Ohio. If they do timelines, when I show them this, they're like, oh my gosh, I didn't know that existed. But again, it's a little not beginner type uh, skills that the teacher may need some guidance. These are wonderful recordings. Uh, you go in and then once you watch the video, you click on certificate and there's a little quiz to take. Um, but, and I suggest looking at that before you watch the video. So you kind of pay attention to what the main features are, but these kind of things can give you uh, some con contact hours free of charge. They're, they're uh, prepared by Info Ohio staff. And there are, I wouldn't, say maybe hundreds, but there are quite a few different videos in that one and in the um, learning pathways. J so. Judy and Tiny, if we have time, would, Judy, would you show one more thing, the book flicks? Because this is my personal all-time favorite uh, it home is my, assignment for students. It is my, yeah, about three minutes, yeah. Okay. It is my grandson's the other day. Can we watch those books on your TV, on your phone, grandma? And so I let them- This is pre-K through five, click really. on a category. Okay. Or and click on the feature to begin. Let's just do, we did this one because I saw the, the duck on the bike and they were familiar with this particular book series. But um, Roger, is there something you want to- no, So what you're showing right here, Judy, and you may not be able to see it on your screens as, you're, as teachers are watching this. You, you've got an option. One is to watch the story and it reads along or read the book. So, and you can have it read, you know, along highlighting yeah. words. For younger kids, absolutely fantastic. For parents to sit down and read these, uh, even the longer ones, generally for, for K one, two, three, uh, younger kids take less than uh, 10 minutes. And uh, go ahead, why don't you just show quickly the two different kinds. And okay, the, well, some of them are fiction. Some of them well, are the one on the left is always fiction and it's uh, well-known books that you may know the authors. And then the one that read the book, of course, is the uh, nonfiction, but it can also, be the students can read you can turn off the read feature and then the watch go ahead and click on the duck on the bike and it starts okay. out with about a 30 second okay. ad which we just will kind of just, ignore yeah it. my western was but Denver what now. i like to point out is they take these books and they actually animate them these are not just still pictures that you that they put up in a slideshow they actually animate the book so it 
is awesome. And can you go full screen and watch it for like 20 seconds? It highlights the word, which is a feature that is shown to increase reading skills when the words are read aloud. Road past dog. Go full screen, Judy. Oh, yeah. Hello, dog, said duck. <laughs> said dog. But what he thought was. And see, the best part is that those words are highlighted. And you also can just turn off whatever device you're using, turn off the sound and have the students read it aloud. And there's hundreds of these at all sorts of different grade levels oh. from pre-K where the parent would read it or yeah, I, uh, listen to I it along with the child to grade three or four, maybe over. even five for, for the Lexile right. reading there's level. Over, right, there's over 200 pairs and then there are different activities, usually three, they call them puzzlers, about both, sometimes they're about both books, sometimes about one book. And then there's also, make sure that teachers know up here is an educator guide of questions to ask before the videos, after the videos, comparing things in the two books. It's just a really real, it is the most used Info Ohio resource, at least the last time I heard of all the resources that are available through Info Ohio. And it's just really awesome. Well, so. and Judy, and any kind of interactivity with a resource is going to help them. A parent can just be, you know, need a little minute and put the child in front of this. And, you know, we, we don't, advise having a kid in a device by themselves for a long, long time. You know, it's not advisable because of the safety issues and that kind of stuff, but you could just put them on a computer for five minutes with this video stories being read to them with the wonderful tools of the highlighting and all that stuff, and they're going to benefit from it. But then you could also take it to the extent of, like you said, there's questions that you can ask the child before and the child after, and then you have the nonfiction and the fiction aspect of it. Just some really nice um, ways of reading the books. And uh, the other neat thing is check your local library for contests that they're having in the summer. Um, my boys are in the contest and they physically read the books, but they read a book and then they write down the title on a piece of paper. And then every, after every five books, they get a new packet. And so the library hands them an envelope and it has like a free happy meal or a free pass to the city pool or um, a bookmark or whatever they need. And so just go to your local library, library and they, um, you know, want students to be reading in whatever form fashion they can. And when my boys couldn't read, um, we read to them, or I even used some stuff in Info Ohio with some of the read book flicks more specifically. Um, with them and they wrote those titles down uh, for I think that was the year that it was the summer of a hundred or something like they had to read a hundred books in the summer or we oh. had hundred okay. books for them and Anya, I have to let you know uh, that Info Ohio has a summer activity as featured in our scanner newsletter but if you go to the Info Ohio page and you do it just do an eye search which is this little thing at the bottom or there's site search at the top and you say Let's do the actually, uh, I don't know, the I search. Actually, I should have been doing the site search and put beach in. Of course, we think summer beach. There is summer fun with an Ohio beach bags and camp info. And it's an activity that uh, the students can do on the summer learning page. And of course, they bring up all these featured things, but they have a little beach bingo challenge. And that's what I wanted to point out. Oh, is this that's right. You right. mentioned that last week, I think. Right. And so, it, of course, you have to download it, but uh, it's got um, all these things for students to do. And they aren't just using Info Ohio resources. Of course, they do have Watch Peanut Butter and Jellyfish and Book Flicks. But like this one, think about how much water covers the earth. Discover the smallest creature in the ocean. They could use different books, they could use the internet or whatever, or they could use the iSearch in Info Ohio, which is the safest place to search for students. So for more yeah. suggestions on summer activities, getting your kids ready for summer, getting them ready to come back in the fall, uh, contact us at NWOET. Yeah, and on our resource page, we'll have a lot of these links uh, available for you, especially the um, the certificate PD 
NWAT Tech Time list, know it now with NWAT. Um, uh, Google Doc, we'll share that with you on the resource page that you see on the link you see on the page right now or on the video right now. And then like Roger said, we're all willing to help you out in the summer, whether it's a 10 minute quick video, phone call, Zoom, Google Meet, uh, we're more than happy to help you uh, learn the resources you need to prepare for next year, learn a new tool, um, come up with some more engaging instructional design that's going to you know, make your fall amazing for you and your students. So um, we did go over a little bit, but that no worries because it's worth it. All the resources that Judy always shares with Info Ohio are, are just amazing um, to, to be able to use. And it's kind of sad, didn't know that a lot of teachers, some teachers don't know about Info Ohio as much. We're trying to spread the news. That's what we're here for, yeah. Yeah, spread the news of Info Ohio. And it's a resource that you can utilize at your district within the state of Ohio. So, um, you know, here's another wonderful video about those resources. So thank you for joining us and um, we'll uh, see you next week. And we'll be talking about some more wonderful instructional technology resources that Roger, Judy and I find are amazing and need to share with you. All right, so take care.